Welcome to On Air with Cash. We're kicking off the new season with a very special guest today. I honestly don't know where to begin with this man. He is the star of the classic films, The Princess Bride, Robin Hood Men in Tights. He's appeared in the blockbuster hits Twister, Liar Liar, Days of Thunder, as well as the hit series, The Marvelous Miss Maisel, Seinfeld, and Stranger Things. He stars with Brooke Shields in the feature film, A Castle for Christmas, available on Netflix on November 26th. Please welcome my friend, one of my favorite actors, the iconic and legendary Carrie Elwes. Wow, thank you, Cash. That's a very generous uh, introduction. Thank you. It's an honor having you on the show. You've thank had you. such an extraordinary career, You've and you've always just been someone who's You've been just such a good role model for myself, so many actors up and coming, and we've all followed your career, and you've, you've done Thank so you. many iconic performances. Thank you, Cash. It's very oh. kind of you to say. Men every word. Oh, my goodness. So we have got to talk about your upcoming feature film yes. with Brooke Shields, A Castle for Christmas, where you play Miles, the Duke of Dunbar. That's correct. I play a, a grumpy Scotsman uh, who, who's kind of a hermit living in a very big castle in, in Scotland who has to sell it for financial reasons, but he doesn't expect the buyer to be this, this uh, vivacious and uh, bright, funny extrovert played by Brooke Shields. So he, he suddenly this girl comes into his life and turns it all upside down. So lots of hilarity ensues when that happens. Oh my goodness, it, it looks amazing because Princess Bride is so iconic. This is really your first step back into the rom-com. That is correct. It's my first rom-com since Princess Bride. I figured, Cash, you know, after Princess Bride, it was tough to visit that genre again without feeling like I was trying to compete with myself, you know? So uh, I waited a long time till this one came along. I really felt this was the right the right time to step back into that genre. The, the part was too too delicious for me to pass up, Cash, and, and the chance to work with Brooke, too, who's terrific in the picture. And uh, so that was the, those were really the driving um, motivations for me. What a dream come true. I'm actually going to gather as a family and watch it when it releases on the 26th. We're going to be together. Right on. Oh, awesome. yeah. And I mean, just the scenery and everything looks incredible. And your accents, I mean, that's you master every accent you do. When I sit down and talk, I'm like, that's what he sounds like, because you're so believable in every role. Thank you. I was very lucky. I had a great dialect coach. And, uh, you know, uh, it, because it's a very specific accent, uh, being from Edinburgh, I had to sort of stay in, in, in the zone, as it were, while I was shooting. So, I, you know, it was much easier for me to just be miles during the day and and then when we wrapped, I kind of dropped them, and yeah, it was fun to do. Oh, it's amazing. Well, I am definitely tuning in on November 26th on Netflix, and you also have another Christmas movie, Last Train to Christmas with Michael Sheen, available to stream on December 18th. That's correct. December 18th on Sky. Uh, it's a, a wonderful film. I'm very proud of that, too. I play someone from Nottingham, which is an accent even more complicated than Scottish, let me tell you. And so for that, I stayed in character, too, because that was really a challenge, but a fun one. And uh, we shot that in Wales. We actually shot that uh, just recently. So it was a very uh, quick uh, post-production on the film. And I had a lot of fun with, with Michael. He's terrific in the picture. We play brothers, and you would appreciate this. We play two brothers who desperately believe that they are rock stars and should have been massive rock stars, uh, uh, yeah? And, and end up being nightclub entrepreneurs. Uh, and, and they just settle for that. And so in their mind, they're still rock stars, but in reality, they're just nightclub entrepreneurs. It was a very funny movie, very well written by this wonderful guy who directed it, Julian Kemp. So. Oh my gosh, I am sold on that premise alone. I can totally relate to that. That's interesting because this was a tight turnaround. I enjoy a challenge. Uh, to me, if it's not challenging, then it's not really worth pursuing. You've mentioned that. I know in conversations that you and I have had, too, it's, it, and it shows in every work that you've done. Like I've said, you've played so many diverse characters. It's when I sit down and talk to you, I'm like, oh, right, that's what his voice sounds like, because you're so believable in every role that you get. <sighs> you, you master every performance. You are one of the best. You work with the best. And I just feel like in every role, there's just, I, I'm learning something new about you, or you're, you're giving the audience something new. Well, I'm learning something new about myself with every role. And that's the beauty of what we do for a living, is that it's a total learning curve. 
you know, uh, I learned something new every single day, both about my craft and about me personally, about myself. And, uh, and so that journey is always a fulfilling one if you're open to it. If, you're, if you make yourself available to it, I think it can be rewarding on many levels. Oh, absolutely. I totally agree. And also speaking of um, challenging yourself, you have stayed busy this whole year. You also have Mission Impossible 7 coming out next right. year, September 2022. Yeah. Now, this marks 31 years since Days of Thunder. So this reunites you and Tom Cruise after 31 years. I know. And, and honestly, Cash, it was like when I saw him, it, I literally, my jaw dropped and I said, Tom, you haven't changed at all. He hasn't changed at all. Um, and he's the same guy. He's got the same energy and the same laser focus and the same incredible uh, uh, camaraderie that he brings to the set and, and the work ethic. You know, he, he makes sure that everybody's bringing their A game and, and you want to. He, he's got this energy about him that, that, that you, you makes you realize you should never strive, you should never settle for mediocrity in your work it has to be the best right and it has to be nothing but the very best that you can deliver and and, and he he creates that work ethic around him and it's a wonderful thing that's so inspiring to hear that i can't wait to see you and tom in mission yeah. impossible 7 yeah. and you also have a new film directed by guy ritchie operation fortune with jason statham and audrey plaza that's correct. That will be coming out also next summer. And it's a, uh, a wonderful action thriller with Jason and Aubrey. And we shot that in Turkey. I know it seems weird. I, I, I'm not sure. I said to my wife, it, it seems uh, unfair that I get to work more during a global health crisis than I, I should be, really. But for some reason, the pandemic has created a lot of work for, for us. So uh, I, I just am very grateful for it. Um, uh, um, we shot that in Antalya and I uh, had a great time doing that. And then uh, I came back to England to shoot the mission and then went off to Wales right after that. So, I, yeah, I've been very blessed. I've been very busy. That is amazing. We recently had one of your co-stars, Indy Starr, who plays with you in uh, The Hyperions coming out in March. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's a small world. That's great. Yes. Yes. I shot that a few years ago. Actually, I've almost forgotten that movie. It's been so long. It's funny when you work on a picture and it comes out almost two years later. You, I, you, I've done so much between. I, I almost forgot about it. Yes, I believe that is coming out soon. I know that feeling. There was actually a movie I was in. It was in post production for a few years. We know what what year it is by what color my hair is because I had bleach. Right, right. Same, yeah, same for me. Oh, yeah, that yeah. was so then. Or yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I had a fun scene in that movie with Shannon Doherty, which was awesome. And we're, so we're chatting with Indy and yeah. you know, she talked about just working with you. And I actually, I know when you shot it because she said she filmed it. Then she saw you on Stranger Things. That's funny. Yeah, no, she's very sweet. I, I had a good time doing that too. Uh, Stranger Things, that was a, an amazing journey for me because I, I, I've been a big fan of the Duffers. Um, that was the only show that I binge watched because uh, I'm not big on watching TV series, but that one particularly was very hard to turn off because these guys are very talented at holding your attention. And the way when you read their scripts, they absolutely written with that same energy. And in other words, it's the fastest read because they cut the way they write, they cut the, the, the show together the same way. So it's the fastest read that you've ever done reading a script because it's the energy of it is incredibly fast paced. So and because they're all, you know, episodes within the series, they're not that long a read anyway. But you literally finish them in, in minutes. And, uh, and, and they have they are so talented. These guys, they know exactly how to keep you on the edge of your seat. They're very talented guys. Oh, that they do. Yeah. I've, I've been a fan of the show since it started. When I found out you were in it, it gave me even more of a reason to want to yeah. watch it. Everything from just even like the kids wearing the Ghostbusters suits. I mean, the 90s Ghostbusters were so huge. And I was like, that was me and my friends with our packs. When we right? were playing Princess Bride and recreating the sword, uh, Bride, <laughs> we were recreating Ghostbusters. That's I mean, hilarious. You're so, I, you're, you're an 80s icon in an, not just a throwback, but a celebration of everything great about the 80s and everything. Totally. Great. Totally. Yeah. They celebrate the 80s in ways that I don't think any show has done before or since. So, yeah, no, it was great fun. And, and the kids, they're not kids anymore, but they were kids then. 
these guys are unbelievably professional. I mean, they're all, except for Millie, they're all theater trained actors, you know, and, uh, but they're all incredibly talented and really professional. And uh, I was blown away by them. I'm like, I haven't worked with, with kids that were that talented before. And they really were amazing. Extraordinary. So extraordinary. And Carrie, it's so great to talk to you. It's an honor having you on the show. Oh, thank you, Cash. We've been meaning to do this for a while. I'm so glad we finally got around to doing it. I am. And your performances have really meant a lot to me. You've, you've oh, really just been a great that. friend to me over the years. You know, you're always oh, someone who, whenever thanks. I run into you at a party, we always have an insightful conversation. I know there's we just- do. We moment. try, right? <laughs> we do. It just happens. You know, we'll just, whether we're just meeting up and we're getting a drink at, at the party, and we're like, we end up like having at least a 30 minute insightful yeah. conversation about films. Yeah. And, you know, you're someone for not just my generation, you've done just so many iconic roles and Robin Hood Men in Tights was one of those movies where over the years, it just gets funnier. That was one that we'd watch a lot when we were growing up, but then uh -huh. there's just those little things like uh, Richard Lewis with the mole moving around. And then right. you, that's such a Mel Brooks thing. Yeah. And, and you know, I, I think this joke went over my head, but when Richard Lewis says, And why should the people listen to you? Because unlike some other Robin Hoods, I can speak with an English accent. After watching a few of the Robin Hoods, it like it really just hit me at the right moment, and we just laughed out loud oh, again. Thank you, Cash. You are so generous. You really are, and I, and I'm so glad we got a chance to chat. And and hopefully there'll be more along the way because I really enjoy your company, and you clearly have a great show there. And thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Carrie, my friend, you are welcome anytime. Please, everyone, this man needs no introduction. Follow him on social media. You've got to watch him and Brooke Shields in A Castle for Christmas coming on Netflix on November 26th. And then get back into the Christmas spirit with him on Last Train to Christmas with Michael Sheen available on December 18th. Next year, he has got Mission Impossible 7. He's got Guy Ritchie's Operation Fortune. And he's also appearing with Indie Star in the Hyperion's. Carrie, your career is always exciting. It is, again, Thank a you. pleasure having you on the show, my friend. You come back anytime. You're always welcome. Thank you, Cash. Happy Thanksgiving to you and to your family and to all your viewers and uh, listeners. And I really appreciate you having me. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, my friend. Right. Thank you. And same to your family. All right. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.